Permanent depigmentation with timed surgical mixed peeling of normal facial skin in vitiligo universalis. This patient has generalized vitiligo. There are some areas of pigmented skin on the cheeks which require depigmentation. For this purpose, we use timed surgical mixed peeling with deepithelialization, one of the standardized techniques made possible by the timed apparatus. Depigmentation is necessary because when exposed to the sun, these areas darken and are difficult to cover with masking creams. In generalized vitiligo, the normal color of the patient's complexion appears as a hyperpigmented patch. Once local anesthesia has been carried out, deepithelialization begins. The epidermis of the pigmented areas is raised by the specific pulsed current of the timed apparatus. The edge of the angle of the EM10 yellow electromaniple brushes the skin in small circular movements. The timed apparatus is programmed with the following data. Direct pulsed, 4 nine hundredths of a second. Coag, 2 watts. EM10 yellow electromaniple, edge of the angle. Timed surgical deepithelialization enables us not only to depigment the skin, but also to repigment it. Achromic scars, stable vitiligo or piebaldism can be repigmented by applying to the deepithelialized area grafts of autologous keratinocytes and melanocytes cultivated from a square centimeter of intact skin that has been removed 20 days earlier. The success of these techniques stems from the fact that deepithelialization leaves the dermal papillae and the capillary papillary plexus perfectly intact. In mixed peeling with deepithelialization, the, so the resourcin that is subsequently applied is perfectly absorbed and acts on all the geometric points of the surface. Deepithelialization can be carried out accurately only by means of the specific current of the timed apparatus, the power system of which has been expressly designed for this purpose. It is impossible to achieve the same result by means of a light ray that travels in a straight line at a speed of over 300,000 kilometers per second. Indeed, the widespread use of laser technology in dermatology never ceases to amaze us as laser beams lack precision and cause in-depth trophic damage. Our diathermic current also travels at over 300,000 km per second, but not in a straight line. It returns to the generator across the surface without damaging the deep tissues. Once the EM10 yellow electrode has been brushed over the pigmented skin, the raised epidermis is removed with the same electrode while inactivated. If any fragments of epidermis do not detach, they are again brushed with the edge of the angle of the activated electrode. The resource in solution is applied to the deepithelialized area, where it is left for 60 seconds. As soon as the solution touches the derm, resourcin exerts a selective action on the melanocytes. For this reason, we use it to treat hyperpigmentation and to lighten the skin. One day after the crust has dropped off, the patient can apply a colored cream to mask the slight reddening that occurs after treatment. Two treatment sessions, six months apart, are normally needed in order to lighten the skin. Application of the resource in solution always lasts 60 seconds. In this patient, only a small pigmented area on the right cheek remains after treatment. This will be depigmented during the second session of mixed peeling. The result is permanent.
to access this material, you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.